What is up guys, welcome back to another video here on Loud and Proud. We are actually back here again with the second gen Longhorn project. In the previous video what we finished was the interior carpet of the truck. I'm actually in search of new trim pieces. If anybody can find new trim pieces for here, that would be great. These two screws were rotted and I could not get them out. And I tried to pry, I tried to cut underneath, like anything I could try to do to get them out and I couldn't get them out any way else without kind of pretty much breaking them. So I need new trim pieces. I'm gonna try, I've been looking like crazy online. I'm still gonna keep looking, trying to find them. But if anybody can find this piece that goes from here, connected up under here, that would be amazing. And I would totally purchase them off you if you have them sitting around. Anyway, so we've got the carpet in the truck and that's all laid down, adhesive sprayed and uh, in place there. We've got the trim pieces, we've got the dash top, stuff that we're just trying to get done. And it's coming along pretty good. However, today I think we're gonna take a small break from this truck, at least from video standpoint. So I'm going to be pulling Frosty up to the door here and we're gonna be doing a couple things to that truck. A uh, lovely bird poop all over the truck. Okay, so in terms of what we're doing on this truck today, there's a few things that we've got to do. One of those things being the taillights, and then one of those things being the headlights. And then, I'm not sure if there's anything else that I should do today. Oh yeah, the third thing, I was wondering why I said a few. Um, LEDs going into the headlights. These headlights are, not only are they a little bit older in terms of like, older aftermarket. You can see they're getting really like yellowish and kind of nasty looking tint. And then this one's kind of like the bracket back in there must be broken or something and it's all crooked and just doesn't look very good. But the second gen bumper is actually in really good shape. It's very evenly spaced out and nice still. Um, so we're gonna keep that. But in terms of the headlights, they're uh, they're a little bit crooked and just, just not in the nicest, newest, cleanest shape. Also, we're gonna be getting an emblem right here as well. Let's get started on the tail lights here and get those changed out. Okay, so tail lights are in. They do look really, really good. Check them out. We do have the hazards on right now. If you're wondering why they're blinking like that. But man, they uh, they do look good. I'm so sick of all the bird crap. There's there's birds just crapping all over our trucks. Like I just get it washed. Just, you know, it's annoying. We're gonna be getting the headlights unboxed right now and popping those in. And in terms of LEDs for those headlights, I did clean up a lot of the shop, by the way. There's still exhaust piping here and parts for the this truck to go back on. But for the most part, we got a lot of this stuff cleaned up and reorganized again. Paneo LED headlights here. And we've also got some of these. I'm not sure how much better one of the other is, or if there's really gonna be much of a difference. But I think I'm gonna go with those and put those in this truck. Um, these were a little more expensive, so I'm gonna put those in that truck. But let's get these headlights in box because I kind of forget what they look like because I ordered them so long ago. I ordered them for this truck, but of course, I haven't taken the front bumper off and everything else yet. And um, until I do that, I really don't need headlights. Well, I really don't need headlights at all when, it's, when I'm not driving it. So um, I'm gonna unbox these, see what they look like, get them put in with these LEDs, and it should look extremely good. Let me know down in the comment section below how you think the lighting on this truck is looking so far. Well, we did get the new headlights put in and check these things out. These things look so much better. Here's your view from right here. 
and it's pretty much just a clear housing with a smoked uh, clear lens with a smoked housing in the background pretty much like a flat black actually more than smoked um, with the LEDs in there and they are extremely extremely bright the amber turn signal on both sides still though way more simple but just way cleaner looking and let me show you what's left of these headlights over here these things were just I mean they were destroyed this one actually when I pulled it out this headlight literally came out in pieces like I was trying to just pull on it to pop the uh, that screw out of the back there that just kind of like clips into a metal clip to hold it in place and center it up well this whole lens just like fell off and there's like algae and mold and crap growing in there and then the whole thing just kind of like started falling apart when it fell out I mean it was just it was um, it was definitely garbage so to say the least I am extremely happy with the new headlight setup on the truck no more crooked corner headlight well crooked corner of the headlight looks way way better in the taillights as well you can see how they kind of complement each other a little bit you know what I mean just way way nicer of course bird crap all over the truck that stuff is toxic <laughs> I just cleaned the truck off too but man looks a ton better it really does we did get the headlights and taillights done on frosty and gotta say he's looking pretty uh pretty good but anyway so the wife and I are gonna actually take these seats up to the upholstery guy and he said he was gonna quote me but um, whether he quotes me you know 500 or 1500 I need to have the seats all done and I want like top quality so I'm willing to pay for top quality because even if I bought Longhorn seats like fronts and just the two fronts are usually like a grand a piece if they're in good shape so I'm, I would already be in easily $2,000 before shipping if I just bought you know fourth gen seats that are Longhorn interior that don't have factory mounting hardware for this truck anyways which gives us a whole bunch more work to do and fabricate um, and since I don't know how to fabricate, I'd have to pay somebody to do it. So it's just gonna be a more effective, a higher quality and cheaper, more friendly way to do it and still get like an extremely premium looking and feeling interior, but not spending literally three grand between fabrication of brackets and seats and shipping and everything else. So um, we're gonna get these ran up there and we're gonna kind of see what he tells me, what he quotes me and roughly when we should get these back. But I think, I think it's gonna be pretty good. We just got these seats dropped off and these are actually dropped off at Custom Interiors by Thomas in Garrett, Indiana. And I was referred to him by Devin's family and they said, hey, this guy knows his crap, take it to him, he'll do good. And I'm like, okay, so I get up there and between the quote and the materials he has to offer, which is not, he's like, he's not doing vinyl, cheap vinyl and crap. He's doing like authentic saddle leather, it's like it is sick so he's gonna match part of the coloring of it to the colors that are already in the truck and then I took him a piece of the vinyl that I had but then I'm also going to be doing something a little different in the interior so you guys will see that here in a bit but it is going to look insane now he did say it's gonna take four weeks to get the seats done and back to me which I'm not really too surprised by that amount of time because anybody else you ask around here is gonna say, yep, one month, one month, one month. But apparently he's one of the best. So um, I took my stuff to him and hopefully it turns out amazing. I'm not doubting that it will. Super excited, can't wait to see the final product. I know it's four weeks. You guys are gonna have to be patient and uh, see the results once they get back. Anyways guys, thank you so much for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, smash that thumbs up. Leave your comments down below. Subscribe if you're new. Join the team, join the family. Don't forget to enter to win the Platinum or Frosty. Every $5, two entries to win. Your double entries end in three days and the giveaway ends in 19. Thank you guys so much. I'll catch you in the next video. Peace.